We are about to go to a live feed from inside the hollow tree where Jeff Sessions makes the cookies. Let's see what she has to say. Good morning. <laughs> I'm here today to announce that the program... Hello. We are Story Fandom, and we are here today to experience... Why, why is it like bugging me? I don't know. Why is it bugging weird. me? weird. <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. Hi, we're Story Fandom. You're here to watch reaction. No, still not working. <laughs> For Andy Rainbow. This is another request by Carolyn. I'm not going to try and say your last name this time because I screwed that up last time and we ended up censoring it um, because I didn't realize it occurred to me maybe I wouldn't want your last name even if it's part of a YouTube ID set on a video. Besides, I probably butchered it. They all made fun of me. Uh, but yeah, you also requested. Stop. <laughs> Why do you insist on violating the microphone? What does the microphone ever Why do, do to you? Why do you insist on calling it that, like saying it like that? Why do you insist on violating the microphone? I don't think the microphone feels violated. I think the microphone feels nothing. I just I can't touch the microphone. No, it's not the camera. <laughs> anyway. The fact that you didn't see that coming. Before we get started. There's something else we need to talk about, and that is oh my God. subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> We're trying to hit 250 subscribers. When we hit 250 subscribers, we have a video for you. The video is called Poop Cookies. Aesop's Fables by Brendan. I know, you're thinking, that sounds gross. Why would I want to watch that? But some part Aesop's of this is going. Aesop's Fables by Brendan. Poop Cookies? What in the. I mean, do they make poop cookies? I mean, what's I feel going like we on here? Make a song. And the answer is no. But <laughs> the story is still Aesop's worth a good Aesop's watch. And if you Aesop's watch that video, it comes to the sequel as well, which is Poop Cookies 2. Look, like Max is like, I like this song and I am here for it. Poop Cookies 2. <laughs> <laughs> Drop and trial. To the microphone to my side. <laughs> Why? For you, turn. Because you guys were loud. No. No, I was being joking. Look, Max likes my song over here. He, anyway. he specifically came over here. He was anyway. contemplating his life choices back there, and then he made the decision to come over here just for my song. Aesop's Fables by If you're interested in that, subscribe. When you do subscribe, we'll release the video. Subscribe to Jay. Anyway. Subscribe to Jay. This is Doc of Shame. I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in my ear and open up the reaction window. Because. Come on, you know it was great. You guys ready? Max is very excited. Welcome back. I'm joined by my guest, Presidential Advisor Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne, great to have you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yep. But then again, I haven't Terrible. stood in my bathroom with the lights off and said your name three times into my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, let's talk about the future of DACA, which for those viewers who are not familiar stands for Donald's a cold-hearted ass face. Well, a few things on DACA. The Congress had all year to act. Uh, a legislative fix or some clarity would be helpful. If the president decides to end the policy, it could potentially sabotage the futures of many hardworking dreamers, as well as deport close to a million undocumented immigrants, not to mention the devastating toll it would take on my sex life. The president has expressed um, sympathy for uh, many of the so-called dreamers, what they refer to themselves as dreamers. Kellyanne, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we are about to go to a live feed from inside the hollow tree where Jeff Sessions makes the cookies. Let's see what she has to say. Good morning. <laughs> I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. And there you have it. Uh, Kellyanne, when Donald Trump was elected, he said that he had a big heart and that anyone vulnerable to a change of this nature should rest easy. What the hell happened to that crap? Well, that's what leaders do, though. Leaders listen to many different insights and inputs and contrasting opinions. The president surrounds himself with people of that, uh, of that nature. But at the same time, I want to remind you, he has never backed down from the fact that this is a country, it's a nation. It's a dark a shame, Donald. Dark a shame. <laughs> Thank you for all the stress and strain. Can't you be 
half oh, as generous song, as you've been with the KKK and like, oh white supremacist <laughs> Dark of shame, <laughs> put them on a plane back to from whence they never came. How the f can you sleep at night? Knowing like you do, nothing you do is right. Darker shame, a darker shame. Hey, how you doing? Go f yourself, darling. Darker shame. F you for causing so much pain. Just behold all the lies you've told. And this anarchy caused by your cowardly Dark a shame, dark a shame. You've got a little bit of dark a shame. <laughs> and hey, girl, you should feel the same. Shut your face, you're a big disgrace. Stop your slandering, pandering to your face. Dark a shame, dark a shame. Your dark game. You all, oh, you're all to blame. Oh, f this guy, also f this dame. And f what's his name? Dark a shame, dark a shame, dark a shame, dark a shame, darling. You're insane. Dark a shame. I do have a big heart. Go back to Queens. <laughs> she didn't say. The future of the Supreme Court she, is in danger oh like never on. before. She is insane, though. She is, you know, I'm going to catch COVID <clears throat> and lie about it. Because you my keep own saying. Kid. Yeah. But I don't think she didn't release it, I didn't think. She did after her daughter released it on TikTok. And okay. then she tweeted about it. Yeah. But it's like, okay. by then it was like, well, I kind of have to at this point. Yeah. Because I'm a dumb but bitch. She is. It's like, okay, so you claim that you're retreating, you, you, you're retiring from the White House because you're trying to rebuild your relationship with your daughter, who is a complete liberal and you're a complete conservative. So you're going to go home and rebuild your relationship. And then you're going to do something like this? Lie about having COVID-19? Okay. 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 Can we talk about what the song was about, though? Yeah, we can talk about that, too. Okay. Because that was complete bullshit. Because my friend is one of the dreamers. I'm not going to mention their name. But they are actually considering going to a different country because they are just so tired of waking up terrified because of this administration. I mean, they work in a fucking museum in, in our city. They fucking work in a museum. They are so fucking intelligent and brilliant and amazing. And they only, like, add to this amazing community that we live in. And they have to wake up terrified all the fucking time because of this fucking little dick fucking orange Cheeto bullshit. Like, it makes me genuinely upset. Because that person does matter a lot to me. And the fact that they are scared all the time sucks i know like a lot i know i mean they work in a fucking history museum they actually do good things for the world and they pay more taxes than his stupid fucking orange ass but they're somehow hurting the economy and they're somehow hurting this country even though he's the fucking one who's gonna bring us to a fucking civil war because he's a dumb fuck i agree i'm just saying I know. <laughs> I actually, like, I feel myself shaking because of how angry it makes me. I know. Like, under my skin, I, I can know. feel like a burning. I know. I know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't know. This it's is one just, of those moments where... It just where... sucks because it's like, I know people affected by this, and one of the main people in our lives, like, when Clara wanted to learn about history, that person shared, like their whole fucking like library to us I mean they have done amazing things for our family 
and they've touched a lot of lives and they do great work and yet they're considering leaving here because they can't take the stress and the fear 24 7 because of this bullshit that part i didn't know about the leaving but I understand. This is one of those moments. I keep saying I know Julius. This is one of those moments where. So, I, an outsider to this because I'm, white, and, well, you know, Brandy is an American citizen, born here in America, and everything, you know, from, a woman who was, already an American citizen and everything. So she doesn't have to worry about being a dreamer. It's still her own culture. So I keep saying I know because I understand exactly where she's coming from. But I have nothing I can add to this because I'm I'm a white dude from the suburbs. I know, but there's still more than two whites <laughs> in the English language. <laughs> Do you want to talk about this, going like a, a source on this? I mean, it just, it sucks. It just really sucks that they have to live with the constant fear of this. I mean, never mind that we're all living in a state of fear because of a fucking pandemic that was downplayed to us because it was only affecting the blue states and his stupid orange ass was like, well, let's kill them all anyway, so we don't fucking care. You know, we're already dealing with that. And now we're dealing with the fact that, like, these kids can't go to school. They're dealing with all of the emotional upheaval of everything and all of this, like, non-normalcy. And all these kids are, like, really, really damaged by everything that's going on. And we have to deal with this guy fucking telling white supremacists to stand by so that they can start a civil war because he doesn't want to leave the fucking office even though he doesn't do shit worth shit. But then you have this on top of everything else. Like... There is just so much bullshit that has happened because of this fucking asshole that I don't even understand how anyone that I can be, that I'm related to or anyone I've ever known in my life could possibly, in any way, shape, or form, defend possibly believing in this man. There is literally no part of your brain that should tell you to believe in this man or to vote for him. Because if you do, I'm sorry, you're a racist, you're an asshole, and you just don't belong in America. Because the fact that people who aren't even legal here pay more taxes than his ass, but then you're going to blame all the immigrants who are ruining your country even though he didn't pay for shit for 10 fucking years, but you're going to sit here and you're going to get on your high horse and you're going to say they're ruining the country, they're stealing your jobs. I'm sorry, there are no jobs. You know why? Because of his stupid ass. See, I'm calm. I'm in a bad position now because I was going to make the joke to what Julia said. Of, I'm going to say, I'm aware. But now if I say something like that, it would sound so condescending. It would just make you angrier. So I'm like, I don't know what to say. If I say I know again, he's going to make fun of me. But if I say I'm aware, you'd be like, oh, oh, you're aware? So I'm like, well, shit. Um, she's really angry. I got to think of a, a way to say I know without sounding condescending. I need a moment. I agree. Get him, girl. It just, it makes me upset. I know. See, I said it again. I'm like, I'm like shaking. Like, you ever get so mad that you just like feel it in your limbs, mm-hmm. like your legs and your hands are just like, they want to hit something because you're so angry. So it's just like this constant like shaking that just is like there under the skin. And it's so uncomfortable. Like, that's where I'm at right now. I know. I, I have one of those tremors too. That when you get really emotional, you can't control the tremor anymore. And then your hand is kind of... It just makes me very upset because it has affected a lot of people that I care about. I know. And it's not fucking fair. And it's fucking bullshit that these people voted in a fucking reality TV star that was broke to begin with. I'm sorry. You're going to say he's a businessman? Really? Really? That's going to be your argument? You're brain dead. These are all things that I am currently in knowledge of. Someone else talk. <laughs> like really? Well, Julius, <laughs> what about you? Well, because your mom is obviously knows a lot of people in the community. She's grown up. She's grown up. But you're also Mexican. You probably also may know some kids who are in the state. What does this make you think? Mm. <sighs> One's talking so fast. I'm not sure you even understood half of what she said. One, I can't get a word out of. <laughs> And I don't. I, I, it's, I mean, it was a good song, and I'm glad he made it because it is shameful and it is bullshit that they did that. That I mean, I 
the great thing about his videos is the fact that like it is informative like if you're not following the news and you don't know all the stupid shit that he has done you know then you see it here and it's nice to know that there's someone who feels the same way you do mm -hmm. that it's fucking shameful that he did that mm -hmm. and it's fucking bullshit and with the advantage of using catchy songs and humor to try and get people yeah. who wouldn't care to pay attention. Well, to the person who requested this, I'm sorry it made me so angry. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure they would not because be upset by that. honestly, I did like the song. It's just, it, it's a very touchy subject for us here, or at least for me. Because it has affected a lot of people that I care about. And I... I have knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I have knowledge. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think so because as someone who also watched reactions before starting a reaction channel, it's always great when people have big reactions because then you can feel it with them. But see, people are watching this and they're enjoying the songs because they're funny and they're not feeling like, well, maybe they are feeling this way. I don't know. Comment, let us know, whatever. I just a sore subject because honestly like if they leave because of this bullshit like the world is a lot worse off because of it Chicago is a lot worse off because of it like we just are this is someone who's affecting change in our museums who is standing up and fighting for women for Latinx for everyone who's out there fighting every day and who has affected a lot of change in that particular museum and has done so many great things for youth and all of these other people and then that person will go away because of this and that's just awful I agree you know I need a moment why don't we go ahead and just pull this video to an end so we can watch a different one. One thing I'm going to say is, what's that song from? It's that Donka Shane. Yeah, but I know, I know the song. Like, the, the, it's like in everything. It's like from like a movie and I can't... It's in like 50 movies. <laughs> anyway. If you like our content, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I lost track of my brain. It left. My brain is gone. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget, two new subscribers will be the uh, poop cookies. <laughs> My brain is just. I probably should have paid closer attention to the actual name of this song. Then I might have had, like, the forewarning. You were like, oh, we're going to do this. And I was like, meh. <laughs> we have a Twitter, we have a Facebook. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. <laughs>